I need to play some music. Mm -hmm. I will live, I will not fall. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I guess I gotta type in a desk because I got product. I guess some product with to do with my finger. In Jesus' name. This going to ponytail, but. My edges are pretty much finished. I'm just going to do a little more touch-up. But the other day, yesterday, actually, I was at ShopRite. And I was like, I like your edges. And that was so random. Like, not your hair. He said, I like your edges. But I appreciate that. I appreciate the compliments. Especially guys that don't just stare at you and, like, that would just stare and don't say nothing, like, or that would just make you feel uncomfortable, or like, instead of even just trying to talk to me or anything, he just gave a compliment and kept the pushing, so I appreciate that. But yes, showered, got dressed, put my deodorant, sprayed my perfume already. Let me see. All right, so I got the music right here. Now it's time to touch up the edges. Took my probiotic, my daily probiotic. Mobile banking from Truist. The vitamins, works for you. stuff like that. Oiled up. It gives. So this, this is cool. It's like a pimple for my skin. There we go. Got that all. Whatever that was. Now I just gotta fix this front. This could be in a little more. There we go. But now let's go for this. This all go over there. Very cool. He has overcome. We will not be shaken. We will not be moved. Bring that over. Okay. Bring that over some more. Okay. Now that's done. I'm going to take this out. Okay. And the braid. And it's in my. Like, almost braid.
just gonna brush it or pot it up right now. We'll see. Uh, it's given a product needed. So I'll go ahead and brush this side. Go ahead and brush this side. Then I just need a little the front clean, but the air I can see like little hair, so I'm gonna just put a little mousse right there, a little bit, a little bit of this. Lighting up the kingdom in the name of Jesus. I want it to be higher. Jump in. Go ahead, just take a call because I'm going to do before I put it in the braid. This Where a time away is us time. And a good there, night kiss. Yeah. Now, my trash can is Where like, reunions yeah. become an incredible night. Take out the other braid. Where breakfast is the sweetest part of the day. And we're going to wet this and brush it. Book now at Hilton.com. To new memories, Hilton Squid and our family of friends. Fresh. There is so much crisis in the world right now that it's a lesson for us to see so how we'll like people have been able to help their neighbors. There. That All creates right. solidarity, friendship, compassion. St. Jude was founded yeah. with an understanding that no child should die in the dawn of life. Nothing stops in the way of us achieving that mission, not even war. So St. Jude serves as one of the partners for okay. Safe for Ukraine, Damn. which is the initiative to evacuate children Boy, with I'll cancer from this. Ukraine to physical me. safety to continue high-quality cancer-directed therapy. Good. What we're doing here is really living up to that original founding mission of St. Jude through the global community. It's cool. I'm about to wear my hair. No, see, this is the part I was talking about. Never has it been more important than now. All right, cool. In this moment. Just wet it a little bit. Let's start and see the evidence. So we'll order. But that's it. Nice and calm. Oh my God. 
My eyebrows wax so long because I'm just trying to grow them in, so I'm just making it look completely full on this first part. part. I got my dad eyebrows. I'm not even gonna do that. You're lying. Now get out. Um, I made breakfast. Girl, you're off the door. Mama's still is in my car. Okay. I usually don't even be wearing makeup and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm cool. Stay, but, okay. but yeah, these are the lashes I'm gonna wear. I got them from a pop up shop that I was working at. And I always buy stuff. I like shopping, period. But I just always buy stuff to support people. And, ooh. These are the lashes that I bought. And they she had big ones, but I'm I don't like the big ones. Like I'll take the big ones if I'm like going on somewhere that's really like a event or something like that. So yeah, no mascara, no um no lashes today. But I am gonna get some lash glue soon. Some lip gloss. Took my covenant with the Lord Jesus Christ. Got this box of communion. It's a hundred count. Oh, jewelry. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, we'll see. I'm gonna check it anyway. Let me see something. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Take a moment, just think about His goodness. I got some just calm erasing. Take a God's goodness. Take a God's goodness. Oh, I found my Apple Watch. It's somewhere. Around here. Somewhere around here. I could do this, but if I do. If I do do this, this gotta come in two cuts, and that's just about a lot. I see the evidence of your goodness. I see your promises. We got this. We got that, we got that, we got that, we got that, and I'm putting on my socks and shoes, and I'm out. All the perfume, my real lotion, dog, yours, and all that good stuff, you're done. Outfit once I get outside. Oh yeah, I don't like this young baby. Me and my cousin, we was going on a trip, and this girl was selling jewelry. And we just bought all jewelry from her. But yeah, and I just thought like, it's getting all this. Alright, I'm gonna put my sock and shoes on, grab me some snakes, and head out the door. Okay. Hey, y'all can see the outfit. Almost the board. Got bananas. I don't really be having snakes in there, so. Like, this is what I say a prayer in my car before I go anywhere. So, I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. Heavenly Father, I invite your Holy Spirit in my car in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you bless me with travel mercies. That I will get to my destination to and fro safely and soundly while all any problems, any accidents, anything, any car troubles are in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I ask that you wash my car with the blood of Jesus and you will just have your grace and mercy upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I praise and thank you. Amen. Now it's time to start this baby up and get on the road. I'm here to pick up the truck and it's like a a U-Haul type of um gas station just pick up center. So yeah, he's gonna check and make sure everything okay with the truck, then he gonna give me the keys and all that stuff. So to the outfit, okay? Let me show you.
Red light in town. What's this? You're smiling because your car smells amazing. <laughs> you just installed a Febreze car vent clip. Ha <laughs> ha. Big boy. Big boy. Oh, actually, let me, uh. Right. No, it wasn't. They don't got the automatic super sun. So, yeah. Go ahead and get me early. But anyway, I made it to Home Depot. So I'm at Home Depot and at Home Depot I'm gonna be picking up the pallet jack in order. I gotta be in like move the doors in order to actually load up the machine and this truck has a ramp on the back. Yes. Perfect. I need this ramp. But yeah, let's go into Home Depot. Let's see what we need. Restroom here. Last time, all the way down. Last time, all the way down. Thank you. Yes, I handle that. I had to go since I would say U Haul, but U Haul it was like a gas station, so I'm like, I'm pretty sure they don't have a private um, bathroom. So, I'm gonna ask because it wasn't urgent. So I'm gonna be like, oh, we don't let usually let we choose it, but so let me just go ahead. I love Home Depot. Let's get me up. Uh, I wonder if I got the whole thing. But, no. Oh, last aisle right here. Restroom, but yo, they got purpose. Die my way. This might be that lie. No, no, we ain't doing it. Okay. Anyway, we'll see. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So happy. I gotta go. I gotta go bed. Okay, yes, I like that. It's a green flag. Oh, oh, oh. This is a big body, big body period. Don't be out here still, man. Don't do it. Still really just not it. Like, this is really not it. Oh, oh. All right, time to wash these hands. Perfect. I had to leave the restroom because as I was on my way to the restroom, I seen that said two rental right over there. So let's go ahead and go to two rental because that is where I need to be heading. See? So let's go. Let's go. Okay, they gonna know I'm here because of that. Right, take your inventory. Hi, I'm here to rent a Jack. I have reservations for 6.30 for Jade. The mm -hmm. Jack? Yes. Uh, do you have your license? Yes. Right. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just roll it out. Yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. Alright, let's just bring this. Yeah, well here I'm gonna turn the camera off because uh, I actually can still do it, but yeah, it's gonna roll this all the way to the washer. The car, so what I'm about to do is pull out the rent so I'll be able to put this in the truck. <laughs> this is dope. 
that dog was just all in my neck for a second. But yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna put this jack on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my stuff in the car so I can be able to do everything easily. the keys take off my jacket this jacket though it's windy out here that went that wind blew off my jacket door unlocked actually pull this around Get my butt back in the car and head to the mall. Okay, all right. Okay, that's accomplished. Now, half is like I'm almost half, it's like one fourth done. Because once we load the machine onto the truck, then we're halfway done. Okay, the mall closed at eight o'clock. Mall closed at 8 o'clock. It's 6.52. So I got an hour to do things. But that's okay. I always, I'm never the type to be bored. I always got stuff to do. And it's going to take me a couple minutes to get there. And then once I get there, I got stuff to do. Organize, plan, write, journal, pray, worship, you name it. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to see how this pallet jack stand still with driving and stuff so all right next step now i'm glad this cardboard is actually here because if the pilot jack is moving around while i'm driving i'm going to um what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the that under the wheels so the pilot jack was getting beat up i heard it i didn't even get out the parking lot home deep but my hair is like boom Boom, boom. I'm like, whoa, at first. I'm like, that hit something. What is going on? But I know I'm driving carefully, so I'm like, oh, oh, no. 
Oh, but it's still relatively in the same spot. It's just probably just moving, but I'm just gonna see. There's a way, Lauren. It's just not, but it's not even, that's not even bad. It's staying in this spot. But let me see if I can do the um, cardboard, the cardboard under. See if that works. <laughs> I like problem solving. I'm gonna always get to the bottom. Or something. All right. Oh, so this was the when I had the um, first got the truck, you had to do an inspection, and this was in the truck in the mirror, but it didn't look like the picture. But because it wasn't, it was in the picture mirror, but it wasn't in the truck. Did it? Okay. Well, let me see. Oh, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it behind here. Maybe. It's not really going here. Anyway, it doesn't really make a difference. I'm gonna just go ahead and drive. Yeah, my hand's dirty now. I don't know why I touched it. But it's cool. Got wipes and stuff. Let's go ahead and close this. I use two hands. Oh no, I, I jumped down from it. So it's easy to do. Lift this up. It's locked in. This is, uh, it's locked in. So the jack ain't gonna fall hit the white car and I like that. The red locked in, so we good. All right, we good. Cool. Oh, I'm gonna get my hands dirty now. Get my butt back in the car. It's not like Chick fil A or something, but I do see it five guys. and I, my cousin is going to come and help me when we actually load the machine because it's heavy it's 810 pounds so just so i can guide and help me through he's going to come through and take care of that
Bom dia, irmã. Them the, and they, yo, don't uh, underestimate them because the little, the little chunk of stuff is getting flat. So, yeah, my machine was okay. Yeah, I just want to check. I want to see how far this pilot jack, jack. I want to see how far, how far up it goes. So, you just gotta do like this. Wait, hold up. This is your own better jack. That's what I'm gonna say. This don't jack up? Like what? Oh, the poly jack that I have, it doesn't jack up. So with that being said, it doesn't jack, it doesn't go up. So now I have to go to a whole different Home Depot to get a poly jack that jacks up. New jack now, this one works, it actually lifts up. So now we're about to get this on the truck. early because a hiccup like this definitely would have things off if I wasn't used to the This Home Depot was about to close so I had to go to this one first. I have the pallet jack on the machine right here everything ready. I'm going to unplug it, plug it. I'm also going to turn it on. So I'm gonna jack it up and make sure the height is cool. So I'm gonna jack it up real quick because I'm gonna get it on there. Okay, now as you can see, the machine is off the floor and raised up. So it's completely on the jack. So now, I'm just gotta grab my keys to open this up. I was just thinking when I go to open it up, it's gonna be off anyway, but when I go to open the door to turn it off. I can't even do it because I have it on the jack. So, you know, it's time to pull this baby. Yes, easy peasy. Yes. We have a good pile of jack. We're gonna say goodbye to my old spot. I meant to bring plastic wrap with me too. Cause I wanted to wrap it up. Like wrap it, wrap it, wrap it up.
Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, watch that corner, watch that corner. Okay, this is easy, but I'm pulling it with one hand. The pilot jack doing all the work. I'm gonna invest in one of these once I get more vending machines. It started getting tricky on the carpet, but let's go ahead. This door open for me. Let's pull a little heavy gear for the carpet. My help is king. Everything was cool. I was doing this joint with one hand. 